Elon Musk has finally had enough of the FAA. Months of delays and bureaucratic hurdles seem to have finally caught up to the visionary billionaire as frustrations grow regarding Starship's second launch, especially considering that any further delays could not only be devastating for SpaceX, but also for the entire US space effort. Let's take a look at these regulatory hurdles and the global implications that they pose. In the world of rocket science, one constant challenge remains, regardless of our technological advancements or space exploration efforts, bureaucracy. While private companies continuously innovate and propel society forward, they often encounter obstacles in the form of rules and regulations. A notable example is SpaceX, led by the visionary Elon Musk. This pioneering company is achieving remarkable feats in space exploration. However, they frequently clash with regulatory hurdles, notably the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. Just one month ago, excitement reached a fever pitch as SpaceX prepared for the highly anticipated launch of the Starship. The company meticulously assembled the rocket and set a launch window from the 8th to the 13th of September. Enthusiasts eagerly marked their calendars and gazed at the skies in anticipation. Sadly, their hopes were dashed when the FAA denied the necessary launch license, preventing the mammoth rocket from embarking on its second journey. SpaceX has faced recurrent challenges due to FAA regulations, causing frustration for both the company and its founder, Elon Musk. To grasp the intricacies of their relationship, it's essential to delve into the company's operational approach. SpaceX thrives on progress, constantly pushing the boundaries of space exploration. This drive was evident in their meticulous preparations for the second Starship launch. They meticulously planned every detail aiming for swift execution. However, a significant disparity arose when comparing SpaceX's agile pace to the FAA's more deliberate methodology. SpaceX operates with a sense of urgency, always prepared for action. In contrast, the FAA follows a slower, more methodical process due to the multitude of rules and checks they must adhere to. This difference in operational speed has led to numerous delays for SpaceX. Contemplating this situation raises intriguing questions. If the historic Apollo moon landing mission occurred today, amidst the complexities of modern bureaucracy, would it have achieved success? Could the United States have planted its flag on the moon's surface within the same timeline, considering the intricate maze of regulations the Apollo program would have had to navigate? Another concerning aspect is the lack of clarity in the FAA's rules and decision-making process. For instance, following issues with the first Starship test flight, the FAA took an extended period to respond. Elon Musk expressed his frustration in a recent tweet, deeming it absurd that SpaceX could build a colossal rocket faster than the FAA could handle paperwork. This reaction was triggered by a tweet highlighting delays caused by US Fish and Wildlife officials. The original tweet pointed out that these officials had yet to initiate a formal review of SpaceX's upgrades after Starship's initial launch in April. This delay could potentially push back the next launch window by months, a prospect no one is pleased about. After the incident on April 20th, 2023, where Starship exploded just over three minutes into its planned 90-minute flight, debris fell into the Gulf of Mexico, causing significant damage to the Texas launch pad. This event prompted a comprehensive investigation by the FAA, leading to the identification of 63 corrective actions, 27 of which were focused on public safety. Despite SpaceX's swift response to these directives, the FAA's prolonged safety assessments have raised concerns within the space community about potential delays for upcoming Starship launches. The FAA, tasked with overseeing a vast spectrum of aviation activities, from commercial airline flights to rocket launches, manages an astounding 16.5 million flights annually. Currently, the approximately 50 space launches might seem like a small fraction of their responsibilities. However, the landscape is evolving, particularly with the growing interest in space tourism. SpaceX's Starship serves as a prime example of this evolving landscape. While the current annual space launch count stands at approximately 50, SpaceX has grand plans for the craft. It envisions this remarkable vessel conducting daily flights. The Starship, with its unparalleled capabilities, can transport an astonishing 150 tons of cargo or accommodate up to 100 passengers. And this is merely the starting point. Elon Musk has a vision for an even more impressive successor, Starship 2.0. Yet, achieving this ambitious dream is far from straightforward. The FAA's stringent guidelines pose a significant challenge. Beyond just impeding SpaceX's advancements, this persistent bureaucratic hurdle presents potential setbacks for the United States on the global stage. In the context of the international space race, SpaceX stands as a beacon representing American progress. While organizations like NASA and corporations like Boeing have made substantial contributions, they currently don't match SpaceX's rapid development and innovative strides. Blocking out the leading company doesn't merely slow down progress. It also provides other countries with an opportunity to surpass the US. China, for instance, is aggressively advancing in the space arena. They are in the process of developing the Long March 9th, a super heavy lift reusable rocket initially conceived as an expendable rocket. The Long March 9th promises to be a juggernaut, 
with the capacity to launch 150 tons to low Earth orbit and 50 tons to a lunar transfer orbit. Therefore, the next time the FAA considers delaying a SpaceX launch for unforeseen reasons, they should bear in mind the broader implications. Such delays don't solely impact SpaceX. They affect the entire nation's position in the global space race. This ongoing struggle between SpaceX and the FAA isn't a recent development. Since the initial prototype launches of the Starship, the company has faced numerous delays due to FAA evaluations. Musk's visible frustration has become apparent, particularly during incidents like the launch of the Starship prototype SN8. Despite receiving approval from the FAA under specific conditions, a last-minute cancellation which SpaceX opted to overlook led to an impressive launch but a catastrophic landing. The subsequent oversight by regulatory bodies significantly impacted the testing efforts for Starship SN9. As SpaceX made changes to its permit application, the FAA delayed the license review process, prompting Elon Musk's frustration, which he vented on Twitter. Musk criticized the FAA's fundamentally flawed regulatory structure, highlighting the difficulties innovative companies face when dealing with stringent regulations. It's important to note that SpaceX isn't the only company grappling with these rigorous regulations. Blue Origin, another prominent player in the space industry, faces similar challenges. The FAA recently concluded its investigation into a launch failure experienced by Blue Origin in 2022. However, the end of this probe didn't immediately pave the way for regular launches for the company. Instead, the FAA handed Blue Origin an extensive checklist to address before the New Shepard could take flight again. Central to these stipulations was the enforcement of 21 corrective actions designed to prevent future mishaps. Some of these actions delved deep into technical intricacies, such as the redesign of specific engine and nozzle components to enhance their structural performance during operation. The FAA's primary role is undeniably to safeguard public interests, with safety being paramount. However, it is also within the public interest to have advanced spacecraft systems that operate with optimal efficiency. SpaceX's track record with its Falcon rocket stands as a testament to its unwavering commitment to reliability and safety. However, the success and safety record of the Falcon series has not been translated to the Starship just yet. It will be interesting to see if SpaceX has done enough for the Starship to reach orbit on the second flight, but as for when that flight will happen is anyone's guess. What do you think? Is the FAA justified in being hesitant to provide a launch license for the Starship? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.